Welcome back to Spelling Kitchen Words with Mr. Leolis. Today we'll be focusing on kitchen safety and words that have to do with our kitchen. So get your letters out, A to the letter Z. Make sure they're uppercase and you have doubles of some of the letters. And if we're going too fast, you can always press pause on your technology. So this week, Miss Culver was talking about kitchen safety and one of the appliances she was teaching us safety was the microwave. So we were learning about the microwave and how to use the microwave safely. Microwave. So let's start by spelling it and we'll talk more about that. The first letter we're looking for is the letter M. Find me your letter M. Good, now find me the letter I. Find me the letter C. Find me the letter R. Find me the letter O. Find the letter W. Find the letter A. Find the letter V. And last, find the letter E. It's a big word, microwave. All right, so let's look at the word microwave. And in the lesson, we are learning safety around a microwave. So it's important when we take out hot food from the microwave, we should use an oven mitt because we don't want to burn our hands or fingers. That is something we would use to keep us safe. It's also important not to be standing too close to the microwave because you don't want something bad to happen, right? There's no reason to have our faces close. We should always be standing a few feet away from the microwave letting it heat up the food and there are certain things that we don't put in the microwave like foil or metal pots or pans or bowls those are dangerous all right in order to turn on the microwave we have to press the start button or it won't work so we're going to spell the word start let's start with the letter s Letter T. Find me the letter A. Now find me the letter R. And find me the letter T again. And that spells the word start. Oh, put the cat, my finger over the camera there. Start. In order to have the microwave begin heating up your food, you have to press the start button. Right? All right, let's put our letters back. And now we're gonna find our next word. And the next word is another appliance that we learned for safety. And that is the appliance called a blender. Blender. A blender is something we use to blend up some food or drinks like a smoothie. Let's start by spelling the word and then we'll talk about it. So B, we start with letter B. L. 
L. E. N. D. E. R. So we just spelled the word blender. And again, a blender is an appliance. So the blender is something that helps put all of our food into a liquidy kind of state. And it has blades at the bottom. It has a big lid, it's a big container. And you put your ingredients in the blender in order to make maybe a tomato sauce, or you can make a smoothie like we like to make in our classrooms. I mean, to be very careful with blenders because they can be quite dangerous because there are some parts of the blender that can hurt us. And one of those parts is or are the blades. So inside the, bl the blender are generally about three blades or three knives that are very sharp and they spin around and those things is what cuts up and slices up the food that's inside the blender. So let's spell the word first, the letter B. The letter L. The letter A. The letter D. The letter E. Oops. And the letter S. So we just spell the word blades. And again, blades are found at the bottom of the blender. They help slice up the food or the liquid and puree it that's in the blender. And it's very important to be careful, especially when we're washing the blades from the blender that we don't cut our fingers or cut ourselves because they're very sharp. And that's why we're learning about <clears throat> health and safety with these appliances. And the last word we're going to spell is the word lid. And it's important that when we use a blender, we put the lid and we cover the top of the blender so the liquid or the food doesn't splash up out of the blender. So we'll start by spelling it with the letter L. And now we want to find the letter I. And last, the letter D. Great. And now we spelled the word lid. So all blenders have a lid, and it's important to make sure the lid is closed so we don't make a mess. And that is it for this week's kitchen safety spelling activity. So thanks so much for participating, and we'll see you next week for some more spelling kitchen words with Mr. Leolis.